Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Early Manna for Your Soul. Happy Wednesday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is real faith. Oh, can I tell you, the Bible lets us know that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. To break that down for you, faith is the strength and the fuel behind what we are hoping for. And, and what we are hoping for is made real to us, is shown to us, is evidenced to us, is seen by us, not in the natural, uh, but in our spirit. And in our spiritual eyes, we see what God is going to do for us. And I thank God for that. Faith allows you to see beyond your natural circumstances. Faith allows you to see beyond what's going on. Faith allows you to see beyond the situation. Faith allows you to believe and hope for and to and to see the end even, be, even before you get there. I'm here to tell you faith is real and real faith in a real God will get real results. So can I tell you faith is not denial? Faith is not pie in the sky. Faith is not a fantasy, but faith is spirit driven and God given. Oh, you better get that. Faith is there for us to have something to walk by and uh, because we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is there for us to have something to hold on to uh, because, in our, because in our faith walk, uh, we are undergirded by the strength that, that we know that we trust and believe in God. So therefore, faith is there to be the guardrails to our life. So when the winds of life and the, and the things that come against us that want to knock you off track, our faith is there to be a guardrail for you. Real faith. Real faith is there to help you make it through. Real faith is help you is there to, to help you continue to trust and believe in God despite everything that's going on. You know, I'm reminded of the man Abraham. God gave him a promise that, uh, uh, to, that he was going to be the father of many nations. God didn't give him that promise at 25. He gave him that promise at 75 with no children and a, and a wife that was barren. But Abraham was able to hold on despite some life challenges and some and, and some and despite some insecurities. He was able to hold on by faith, trust in God, and be led all the way to the to see the fulfilling of the promise. Yes, God gave him that son of promise. Isaac was born and God was and God and Abraham were on their way to fulfilling that word of God. All that his seed would be like the stars of the sky. I'm reminded about the children of Israel. The children of Israel were led out of Egypt by, by a promise that God was going to um, take them to a promised land and, and they ran into some obstacles. They got to the promised land and, 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 and because they did not trust and believe by faith that God was going to bring them in and bring them out and, and, and bring them through all the obstacles that were there in front of them, the giants in the land and such. Oh, can I tell you, it cost them 40 more years, but guess what? For the, for the 40 more years, they learned to walk by faith. They learned to hold on to God's unchanging hand. And you know what God did? God took them right into the promised land. Or oh, how about how about the three Hebrew boys? You know, a lot of people miss mistakenly think that the, that the three Hebrew boys had faith uh, that God was going to deliver them out of the fire. Their faith was not in the fact that God was going to deliver them out of the fire. Their faith was in the fact that they were going to trust God and serve God and not take down their standards because they loved God, they trusted God, and they believed in God. If God, if God saved them from the fire, if, furnace, that was a bonus. Uh, but their faith was in uh, the fact that God is real and God is worthy to be praised because that's what they told Nebuchadnezzar. They said, oh, Nebuchadnezzar, live forever, but we won't change our mind. If our God save us from the fiery furnace, well, then he saves us. But even if he don't, we still trust in the one true and living God, and we won't bow down. Their faith was in God, and you know what God did? Because their faith was in God, and and they could see, and they could see. 
beyond, beyond the bowing down. They could see beyond the fiery furnace and they kept their eyes on God and trust in God. God delivered them from that fiery furnace. I'm just here to tell you, real faith uh, is not a faith that it, that is a fantasy. It is it is not a hoax. It is not living in denial. It is not, it is not acknowledging what is going on. It is acknowledging what's going on, but, but believing beyond what you can see and trusting in what you know that God is able to do. Oh, I'm here to tell somebody today, real faith will take you all the way. Somebody needs to understand that real faith can weather the storm. Somebody needs to know that real faith can overcome the obstacles, climb over the mountain, go through the valleys of shadow of death. Real faith doesn't have to feel evil. Real faith will make it all the way because real faith and a real God produces real results. Oh, you better get that. So I encourage you today to keep the faith, not just any old faith, keep the real faith and watch what God does for you. Look, you have an awesome day. You be blessed of the Lord. Peace.